everybody. How you doing? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I am Tanisha and this is <laughs> I got so many names. Jay, Jeremiah. What is it, Jerry? No, we don't call you Jerry. See, you don't even freaking. You can be Jerry, but that's not going to be your intro. Jeremiah. Name. Yeah. Okay. Um, or we can just say Jay. Jeremiah. Okay. Give me a Jeremiah. I am Tanisha, and this is Jeremiah. <laughs> hey, y'all! Welcome What's up? back Woo. to the channel. We are eating our leftovers. Uh -huh. Yesterday we went to, last night we went to um, Hot and Juicy, and this is what we have left, guys. It was my first time, and won't be my last. It was so good. Oh, yeah. We got the mix. The, we got, all right, we have a combination of baby spice because your girl is whack. She can't handle spice at all. And... Because I'm whack, he had to get mild. And you know what? Mild was there. It was still kind of. I was still like kick. you know, like pretty much like you know I was still sniffling and stuff like that. So you know it was yeah. it was, it was, it, was it was good. It was it was good to enjoy. Yeah, where you're not like. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, I think you got to build your tolerance so, up because they don't let you sample the spices. So baby spice and mild. mild. The mild was good. Medium, the flavor, they had medium, spicy, and extra spicy. The flavor would have been... I mean, the, the flavor in the mild was so freaking good. We got the hot and juicy seasoning. So that was a mixture of all of their seasonings together. Like the butter garlic, the... Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it was a mixture of <laughs> everything combined. Yeah. And so what we have here is we have green shelled mussels. We have some shrimp with the head on and all of that. We got a corn. Oh, yeah, baby. This did get kind of cold. Did you want to warm it up some more? We good, right? Okay. Trying to set up and everything. We don't want Hmm. Yeah, you can put it in the microwave a little bit. And we have some snow crab legs. We also had king crab, but we ate all of the king crab. So this is just what's left over. And then baby has a corn that's left over. I'm going to share it. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're going to warm this up. I'll be back. Some. Shoot, if I would have known that we was going to have enough to kind of sit here and eat with y'all, I would have ordered some more extras just so that we would have more food. Especially like some more potatoes, some more corn, some more Hawaiian bread. But it is what it is at this point. Well, we're back. Welcome back, baby. Thank Ooh. you for warming this up for us. All right, guys. We have a topic that we're going to talk about. The topic is how do we feel about long distance dating, about our dating long distance. Okay? <laughs> yes. Yeah. How you feel? How I feel? Yeah, what do you think about long distance dating? Mm. I never believed in <clears throat> I never believed in long distance relationship. For the simple fact of the separation and the trust. Mm -hmm. But knowing getting out from a 13 year relationship uh, and all my other relationships, I kind of decide to. It was never in my preference, but it just, it just fell in my lap. It bust into the Literally. door. Damn. Yeah, it bust into the door, and um, I took. I, I agreed to to go forward on it to see, and you know, all these years right now, I've been through other relationships. Why not give it a chance? Mm -hmm. And I say the same thing. I um, never prefer like if you would ask me. I would never say, oh, yeah, 
I want to date for my long distance. Actually, I think that was a, my no-no list. But then I had to think about it. And this was even before I met him. About a week before I met him, Steve Harvey talked about it. And was like, you know, there are planes, there are trains, there are ways to get to people. Why? Your soulmate could be living anywhere on this planet. Why would you limit yourself? You know what I'm saying? Like your soulmate does not have to live in the same may not live in the same city or state as you what you gonna do about it your soulmate are you gonna say you know what i'm not gonna date you soulmate because you live too far away but i'm gonna date these other people they ain't my soulmate or nothing like that but guess what they live close that don't even sound right when you think about it like that right but when steve harvey said that about um your soulmate can live anywhere on this planet that's when i had this aha moment and I said you know what I'm gonna open myself up I didn't even know anybody to date long distance I just said it in my head and then a week later I met this guy who lives in Miami and I live in the DC metro area yeah. I must have um, said it somewhere I don't quite remember but I was asking for somebody if I decide to be with somebody um, you know, peace, comfort. <clears throat> you know, on my on my level, on my same level, my same era, almost. And um, but you was also saying you don't really like dating long distance in our relationship. Yes. Well, um, you know, it's just I got mixed. Mixed, uh, mixed emotions, you know, it's like a roller coaster. One minute I'm okay, one minute I'm not. But, um, you know, because I feel like I don't want to waste that time, you know. Not being together. Not being together. You know, you, you know you're know, only a certain year once. Fortunately, we get older. By number, you know, I believe by number. But eventually, you hit that magic number, you just old. <laughs> <laughs> So, but you, you know, know those, those are the things I think about, you know. But here's the funny part. I love it. I love being in... Oh, my hair. Oh. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love being in a long-distance relationship with him. And this is why I think, though. I think it's because, like you said, you've been in a relationship for 13 years. Yes. So he's used to being with a companion all the time. I haven't been in a relationship for 13 years. Yeah. So I'm used to a lot of alone time. So to me, it's like I don't feel a void because I'm used to being alone. But you're used to always having somebody. So you feel a void more than I feel a void. Yes. So, you know, like pretty much like to elaborate a little bit what you're saying um, about, you know, she haven't been in a relationship. That even scared me even more. Because... I'm not, I don't know where her level's at. You know, everything is new. I call it the honeymoon stage. And I think. Hey, Y'all, we, we've been together like almost a year now. Yeah, almost a year, yeah. This is when I was, you know, yeah, going through my emotions. And, um, you know, I'm like, yes, I've been in a relationship. I know what works. I don't, I know what doesn't work. And, um,. I did the long distance relationship before and it didn't work because I didn't make it work. Ah. You know, um, so, you know, I already knew about the long distance and, and the short and, and, you know, not being long distance. So and for you and long distance, because before you dated people who lived in New York while you lived here. No, I, 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 I had a relationship in Miami. And I went back to New York. Oh. This happened around like around 1999, December. <laughs> I know so it was right. It was right around Christmas time. So I already know. So it was like almost year 2000. Like so you know, December. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, it didn't work out. I felt like I didn't. It was my fault. You know. You didn't put the effort in. I didn't put the effort in it. So, mm -hmm. You know, so, but now I'm older now, I'm more open, um, and I think I did a pretty good decision, I feel happy, 
She makes me happy. She, um, she's just incredible. It's just, we vibe together, you know? I, I don't know. And it's like, why, why not go for it? Like, why, like, try to get it away if everything's feeling good? You know? mm-hmm. like, why and, resist it, you know? And what I said to him, because for him, like, for him, his ideal place would be like if one if we move closer together or even live with each other. He would like that. But for me, I feel like because I know that that's going to happen eventually, I'm so good living in the moment, living in this moment and letting this moment be what it is and not necessarily feeling like I have to rush for the next thing. Um, because I do feel pretty confident about the next thing. Y'all know. I was on this camera telling y'all about my man before he was even my man. A week after meeting him. Look where we at now. So I know. I feel so good about this. So I feel really good living in this moment. I love our long distance routine because of him. He is so awesome. Like, he communicates a lot. He talks to me a lot. Like, we are always talking and communicating. So I don't feel like a lack. I don't feel like, oh my goodness, what's he doing? Where he at? What's we constantly we know where I'm at, where he at, you know, all of that. And so I trust him. He's never given me a reason not to trust him. I don't feel like, oh, who he with? He lived in freaking Miami, land of beautiful women. But I never felt any insecurity, like you know. In the same way with me. You know, she travels a lot. Um, and she has all different types of traveling, you know. She travels with people she knows. She travels with people she don't know. <laughs> She'll travel with older people. She'll travel with younger people, you know. So it's like, you know, these are the questions. These are like, whoa, like. But who you out there meeting? Or who you out there meet meeting? Somebody. But I, I used to always be like that. And for for something, I'm not. I'm not. I'm like, all right, cool, cool. I'll catch up to you. I'll get there, or nah, nah. I'll stay behind. Like, but it doesn't bother me. Yeah. And it's just a great feeling. It's just a great feeling when when you feel like that for a person. It's like a peace of mind, because you know, out there in the world, it, it can really overwhelm you. Yeah. But then you know, with with your soulmate, what's who's in your house? The people around you makes it easy. And I think it just that makes it natural. that's another reason why I um like this dating, this long distance relationship. Because it goes back to the fact that I love traveling. And so I love the fact that I get to come to Miami. Like I come to him when he comes to me. Because I think it's because I love coming here. Like coming here feels like a vacation. When he come to me, it don't feel like a vacation. Like, it's going to be cold. It feels a vacation for me. But he don't need no vacation. Yeah. Because we, we got a lot of museums that haven't been over there. I know. I know. Uh, I want to go back to my favorite spot that we ate those uh, fried grits and... Don't worry. Where we eat? The Where eye in the sky. To? Right here. There we go. Yeah, eye in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I guess we'll be on this side. Was it Bus Boys and Pollux? It was in the um, oh, mm, Coastal Flats. That's an awesome place. Yeah. All right. Look up with some iron sky. Look at my baby. <laughs> no one. <laughs> How you feeling? Yeah. Good? Mm-hmm. It's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. still good. It is. And it's not even like hot, hot. Mm-hmm. But it's still, it's so good. It's that. It's that, it's that love that I warmed it up with love. Mm-hmm. Warmed it up with love. Yup. Look at you getting out the way. So, and it's awesome, you know, we got to meet eat with each other in different all places. All over the world. Um, and, you know, it, it all comes back with of law of attraction. You know? Oh, yes. Um, because you just got to let it flow. And let me say this. He lived all the way in Florida. I have been in relationships with people who live in the next city. So I've dated 
I've dated people who have lived in like Arlington, Virginia, like like a, a city or so over from me, and those people have acted like they didn't have time. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we too far away, or oh man, traffic is gonna be this long to, to see you, or. You know what I mean? Or the fact that you can date somebody who lives right around the block from you and you still don't trust them. This sauce is so good. Oh, yes, it is. Mm. They, must have, it up. they must have put some sugar in it. Oh, no. It tastes like some brown sugar, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you have drew all down your chin. It's okay, baby. And, uh, but I get to see her all the time because she's very, she's very talented. So I, I call it my virtual girlfriend. So you know, I watch her on her channel. And it's like she's right there. He used to watch his virtual girlfriend. But Sometimes we, I get off the phone on her just to watch my virtual girlfriend. You crazy? <laughs> we try to see each other at least once a month. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's if I behave. And that's because. <laughs> schedule like you gotta think about time like in order to see each other like he has to take off time from work or I have to take off time from work yeah. and even though sometimes we try to incorporate it over a long weekend mm -hmm. look at all that meat what in the world you are so wasteful mm -hmm. you the table. I know he got half this crab on the table I didn't see it with the with the napkin was white <laughs> So we try to do that, but like I said, the reason why we don't do it like every two weeks or something is because again, A, I do travel a lot. So I'm always going somewhere. So I don't have like endless amount of vacation time dedicated to, you know, us going back and forth. If I come, like you gotta take off because y'all, he worked like 12 jobs. <laughs> so it's not even just taking off from his day job. Like you do Uber, can we tell them that? Whatever. Yeah, so he does Uber. He also has his own cleaning business that he um, cleans office buildings and stuff. So therefore, it's not just a matter of him taking off from his day job where he's a supervisor. It's also a matter of him not being able to do his other side hustles. Yes. So that takes away from... They don't have vacation time. Yeah, there's no vacation time with stuff like that. But guess what? I get, still do a lot of things that I want to do. And uh, we're working forward. Uh, I'm working forward to have yeah. more free time. So that's the key. Yeah. And so we just kind of do what we can. And plus, it's money, too. It's money. Like, like if you come visit me or I come visit you, you spend more money than you to normally spend. Because mm -hmm. you're entertaining me. And then a lot of times, he try to act like he don't want me to pay for nothing. So it's funny. I want my tip money from yesterday. <laughs> yeah, so he so he trying to spend up all his he trying to spend up all his money, but no, you know everybody has a budget. Everybody has a budget, but you know how I feel. Yeah, if you don't need to spend it, don't spend you it. You keep it, yes. And then also, like you have debt, we can say that, right? Yes. yes. All right, so he has debt. So sometimes I feel like you got to be responsible, like. Is the responsible thing us going out and, and spending money dating, like on food or, or entertaining? Or is the more responsible thing for us to kind of have some limits and some boundaries so that he can apply that to his debt? And let me say this. This right here, y'all, free 99. Ooh. We did a timeshare tour and we got a 150 Visa gift card and that's what we used to pay for our Red Hot and Blue. I mean Red Hot and Blue. That's what we uh -oh. used to pay for our um, hot and juicy. Then we went to the movies. I had, yep, I had some um, movie um, gift certificates. So that was free. And we had to pay for parking. Parking was like, what was it, $10 an hour or something? $10 for three hours. Yep. Like that. But in the movie theater, we noticed that they had a, a, a valet thing or a validation thing. Oh, yes. And we almost, we almost, we almost messed it up. Yeah, we almost messed it up. We was camping out pretty much in front of the yeah, at one o'clock in the morning. We <laughs> left our movie and then remember that we forgot to validate our parking. And so we went back there and we stayed right in front of that movie theater till people left looking strange <laughs> at one in the morning. But hey, hey, it worked and our parking was free. Free 99. 
We still got twenty dollars left, y'all. Oh, y'all know this love. We in the same off the same corner on the car. Mm. <laughs> we share lips too. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um now I'm looking like you. Oh you know, uh you know, I got a, a couple of close people that had a long distance relationship in a different country. Mm. And you know, they inspired me. Um so not just different states, they were in completely different countries. Different countries, yes. Uh, wow. And he used to go over there every two weeks, pretty much. Wow. And then they, they used to Where travel were everywhere. They? What were the countries? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, Honduras. Mm. And then he lived out here in Miami. So. And who was it? Your cousin or somebody? No, one of my friends. I don't mm. know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just one of them. Yeah, as far as relationship. But you know, they got a gorgeous baby now, uh, baby boy. God bless them. And you know, they're happy. They they travel. They still traveling now. She lives out here now. They got married. Then they had the kid. Uh, they got a beautiful home. You know, they made it happen. How did they meet? I was there. <laughs> Look at me. I know you're like. Could I help you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid. Yeah. I'm afraid, baby. <laughs> it's not in there. No, nah, I did all of that for nothing. No. Yeah. Mm. A little bit. In there. So, uh, they met in Mexico. Not even none of the. You was there the when country. they met. Yeah, I was there when they met. Oh wow! I took their first picture. Oh. Yeah, and uh, it was love first sight. For real? How long did they date? And it's crazy because my friend used to be like, "I ain't got married. I'm staying single. I'm not with that drama." You know, but I don't know. Wow. The universe said no. <laughs> you're gonna find your one. Mm. When you find your one, that's when you're gonna determine if you're gonna stay. What you doing? But you gonna make it happen? You how long? Happen. How long did they date? Well, I don't know. It was on and off. I think within a year, everything happened. Or wow. a little bit after a year. So no, yeah, I was probably like two years before she came down. Mm-hmm. Wow. Because they did their anniversary. And they thing. lived they here met in up. Miami. They went. They went to. Yeah, they live in Miami now. Maybe we can interview them one day on the channel. Yeah, they could. Uh. -uh. uh -huh. Wow. What's mine? Mm -hmm. This is yours. Ooh. Maybe we're saving stuff for me. You know, because you know, I'm a fast eater. So. He do. He be going. So I don't want to. Yeah, because I didn't. I was struggling with that one crap. This is mine. I'm claiming you. Uh -huh. Oh, we didn't even do a thumbnail. Yeah, I know we're like all done. But um you can eat this corn. Pretty stuffy. You are? Yeah. Oh my goodness. We've learned that when we go out to eat that we should actually just share food share one plate first. Just in case. And because we always get stuff. Yeah, don't be ashamed. Fast. Thanks for that extra empty plate. <laughs> Don't be ashamed. We always get um, full fast. Like, look at this. It's all leftovers. Or, or you very big on leftovers. Yeah. Sometimes our leftovers be slamming. You know, you're trying to get... We be creating a whole nother meal out of them leftovers. Yeah, like this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we had to send back the, the waiter like what, three times? Oh, oh. <laughs> I wasn't ready for them prices, y'all. <laughs> the king crab was $46 a pound, right? I tried to order a half a pound. He's like, uh, no, you had to order it by the pound. The pound turned out to be two claws. 
Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll post up the menu. I took that picture. Of the menu. Yeah, and then um, the snow crab was like twenty six dollars a pound. Again, I tried to order half pound. So I learned really quick that you can't order half pound. You got to order a pound or more. When they said buy the pound, I just figured we can divide that pound up. But I think it was kind of like you know I'm all about customer service, so. You know, on their on their sheet, they had something that was a half a pound. But if you want to buy it yourself, you can you can order it by yourself a half a pound. I, I think that was a customer friendly. But you know. Yes, yeah, so I wasn't ready. I had to get my mind right. I had to think about the prices and do we deserve to eat at this price? And yeah, okay. I was telling her I deserve it. Uh, it was, and I'm like, right. she was looking at me crazy. Like I, I had sure a third hand. I was like, whatever. <laughs> Nobody deserves $46 um, crabs. So the moral of the story is I love my long distance relationship. And he loves. Your and I love my long distance relationship. But he would prefer for it to be closer. One day. One day. And then sometimes he tries to act like. I know, I'm going to have to change that battery. Sometimes he tries to act like I don't want him to be closer to me. Remember that, babe? Because you get too busy sometimes. No, but you be acting like like I'm the one who's like I need you to be so far away or something. Oh. Yeah, because, you know. But it's the way she true. expressed herself. You know, like, this is cool. It's, no, it's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> I get to do no it's not you get to do nothing you're so awesome you should be so awesome <laughs> but you know I'm, I'm super busy she got she got her life planned out very good so I, I'm not gonna be slowing her down he wouldn't slow me down anyway he is y'all our camera ran out our battery died we cleaned up a little so now we back to properly close out while we eat our dessert. Which is dessert? Woo! He actually bought these to us, so we need the dessert now. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Mmm. Mmm. So leave a comment below. Tell us how you feel about long distance relationships. Your personal experiences or whatever have you. And as always, thank y'all for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing and participating in our journey. I can't get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. Been thinking about you all night. I've been searching for this all my life. You're just my type.